of our loved ones. This is little Abigail, lives with her mom, loves Christmas more than anything, even decorated this whole house by herself, if you can believe that. <laughs> It's a special time of year for young Abigail. There's no doubting that. But this year will be like no other. She wants to have a special Christmas. And what she's in for is a Christmas she'll never forget. Especially if she gets what she wants for Christmas. set and a pink jacket. <laughs> All right, baby girl. Let's see what mommy can do. No, no, sir. Byron was handling that account. I I mean, I was. Yes, sir. Of course, I understand how vital. Okay, I'm on it. All right, so we'll get the team together and make it happen. Okay. <laughs> no, no big plans, sir. Just uh, dinner with my daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> right, right. Yes, it, consider it done. I'll take care of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, after the holidays, yeah, well then, right, right. Look, have I ever let you down? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, happy holidays to you too, sir. Okay, thanks, bye-bye. I think somebody's playing possum. <laughs> you brush your teeth? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I asked my little woman. You better get yourself some sleep. Oh, I am. Mm -hmm. Santa won't stop by if I'm awake, and that means no gifts. And I happen to have very important items for him to bring me this year. Oh, sweetie, listen. Santa can always... Santa can't. Hmm? Santa can do anything. Honey, sometimes you can't have everything it is that you want for Christmas, no matter how bad you want it or how hard you ask. 
Look, we're gonna have a great Christmas tomorrow no matter what, right? No work tomorrow, right? Ah, uh, you heard my phone call, didn't you? Look, sweetie, a few things that have to get done, but we're still gonna do food and gifts. And then while I do my work, you're gonna play with all your cool new stuff. Abby, none of that pouting, okay? Look, sometimes you gotta go the extra mile to get the things you need. I know, Mama, but I want you to have a happy Christmas too, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm an adult. So that means that my Christmas is made happy by making your Christmases happy. Mm. Sleep tight, my little angel. I love you. I love you too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sounds like y'all got a lot of people over there, Moosey. I think I'm allergic to Fraser fur. You're allergic to everything. Tell me about the part. Just filming in front of my mom and dad. Really? Music and food. Uncle sees dancing and a lot of his voice smells like gasoline. Ew! Adults are so weird. Think Santa's gonna give you all you asked for? Guess so. I never got one frowny face all year. You? I even sent him a letter tonight. Tonight? On Christmas Eve? Why'd you wait so late to send your letter? Because I'm trying to make an impact, make sure he sees it, and brings me what I want. Besides, I've been good all year. I deserve it, don't I? Don't I? All oh, right, right of course. And if he doesn't bring me what I want, he'll be sorry. Yeah, he'll good. Be, he'll be... Wait, sorry, Santa? I said too much already. Go to sleep, Lucy. Everything will be fine. Abby, my house is right after yours. What if he isn't able to come to my house? It'll be okay, Lucy. And you better not say a word. Got it? Just go to sleep. Everything will be fine. And if it isn't, I've got a plan B. A plan B? I don't even know what plan A is. Trust me, everything will go off without a hitch. I guess, I trust you. Merry Christmas, Abby. It's not Christmas yet.
Are you okay, Santa? Is this all you bought for me? Well, then I guess you're my prisoner till I get everything I asked for. <laughs> didn't you get my last letter? So you know just what I want and you still didn't get it? Bad move, big guy. You're my hostage till I get everything I asked for. It's going to be a long Christmas Eve, Kringle. Okay, let me walk you through it. Try to escape. And these ornaments will jingle, giving you away. Move too much or too far, you'll unplug the Christmas lights. The house is so dark, I'll see this in just about any room I'm in. Oh, those? Just for company. Now let's get started. My name is Abigail Winford, but you knew that already. You, Santa Claus, are charged with not fulfilling your duties as Father Christmas. The instructions I sent you were not followed one bit, despite the fact that I've tried my very best to stay on your nice list all year long. Tonight doesn't count. Now, as I was saying, until you can produce the specific item I requested in that one special letter I sent you, you will remain in my cus... my... custer... Yeah, you're gonna stay in that seat. Custody. What? You were trying to say custody. That's what I said. Custody. Now, do you have any questions for me? I sure do. How am I to get your gift if I'm stuck here? You deliver toys to billions of kids in one night, and you have a team of reindeer and elves on your side. I think you can manage. And have an elf run it by if you need to. I mean, you're Santa. You're magic. Okay. If I'm magic, I could simply touch the side of my nose here and disappear right before your eyes. Then why do you use chimneys to get in and out of houses? Good point. What about your mother? Won't she be angry about this? She'll have no clue. She works so much, when she hits that bed, she's out like a light. Plus, her TV's on pretty loud, so don't expect any help from her, if that's what you're thinking. Works a lot, really. Yeah. So, any more questions? Just one. How'd you get so smart? Can't compliment you out of this one, Santa. Now my turn. I need to make sure you're the real deal. And not one of Santa's helpers like you see at the mall. What's your name? St. Nicholas. Some folks call me Chris Kringle. Where do you live? The North Pole. Just follow the brightest star in the sky until you reach the Gumdrop Mountains and the rivers of chocolate. Are there nine reindeer on my roof right now? Uh, no. Well, where are they? How'd you get here? They're at the front of your neighborhood, 
See, reindeer are great for crossing oceans or long distances, but not so much from house to house. All right, now for the real test. <laughs> Sorry, I had to know for sure. Here is Santa in my own house on Christmas Eve. Santa Claus himself is sitting here and not a soul in the world knows about it. Lucy, you okay? You captured Santa? Shh. Be back in a flash. Santa's big red helper. Come in, big red one, come in. What you quit? What the cold names tell me? Listen wait, to me. Wait, 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 wait a minute, boss. Wait, just hold on, wait a minute. What? Santa, I think we got us a problem. What? What's the problem? My, my candy cane seems to disappear. Oh. Oh. oh, never mind, I found it. Now, what was you saying? Santa, you got Santa in your house and he's all tied up? It's okay, Lucy. It's just for a little while. Just until I get what I want, finally. But it's Christmas Eve. He had plans tonight. Plans to deliver toys to all the kids in the world. Kids like me. Don't freak out on me, Lucy. I hate that name. Look, I need your help here. I need you to go home and forget you ever saw this. No, no, I need to tell my parents. Your parents are sleeping by now, just like my mom is. Getting them all worked up will ruin Christmas. Dream of sugar plums and all that stuff. I'm stuck, tied to a chair in the back bedroom. She thinks she's got the real Santa Claus captured. Look, boss, all you gotta do is tell her different, okay? You are her dad, Sebastian Winford, all right? That name strikes fear to everybody. Oh, oh. Especially me. And Rome, what might be her last Christmas before she grows up? That was the point of the whole plan, okay? Give her a magical Christmas before she's too old for that to happen. No, look, she wrote a letter to Santa Claus and it details a, a specific gift that she wants. I gotta figure out what that gift is and give it to her so she can have the Christmas she's always deserved. Oh, ain't you the sweetest Mr. Winford? Yeah, we'll see. Besides, what are dads for if not to make their little girls happy? I can't believe she didn't recognize you, sir. Abby hasn't seen me since she was five. Plus, I think the beard and the fat still kind of help, don't you think? Uh-huh. Look, you help me out of this. We might just have to talk about your promotion. You mean? Yes, that's right. You help me out of this mess, you'll be ready to face anything that can happen in the corporate world. Wait a minute. You don't do this. Don't tell. Wait. Wait, wait. You gonna promote me? You were secretary to an administrative assistant? Oh my goodness. You are really turning me into an L. Oh my goodness. Oh. Everything okay? Everything's perfect. Well, almost. Still haven't seen an L deliver any new gifts. Oh, yeah, that. Not getting out of here till then. These things take time, Abigail. That's why Santa has the whole year to prepare for Christmas. But my letter. You did get my letter, didn't you? Of course. And I can tell that you want this gift very badly. Of course I do. I've wanted this for a long time. Yes, of course. And you deserve it, don't you? I deserve it and I'm old enough to handle it. Yes. Clearly you're very mature. Well, I've had to be with mom working so much. That's another thing. This will make me less lonely, and that's not even talking about all the added security. Yeah, Mom says she doesn't want it to happen, but I know deep down. Are you okay? Yes, yes, I am great. I'm just getting comfortable when I was listening. You were saying companionship and security. Anyway, it's very important to me. 
and I try so hard during Christmas time to make it special. But to be honest, I can't ever remember having one truly magical. Well, if you ask me, I'd say having Santa Claus himself in your house helps. But uh, I didn't hear anything. She's got Santa as her prisoner. Santa Claus himself. Hey Santa Claus, I'm gonna hold you prisoner until I get the gift I want. How could? Uh, just go to sleep, Missy. Don't mess things up, Missy. Don't save Christmas, Missy. It'll be okay. Santa would not let Christmas be ruined. He'll escape. He doesn't need my help. Heck, I better turn his full of gifts right now. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. What are you so diligently working on over there? Oh, just phase two of my plan. Who are you kidnapping now? The Easter Bunny? No. There's a second gift that you want? Nope, just the one. This is for my mom. I want her to have a magical Christmas finally, too. How are you going to give her that? That's top secret. But it's time for action. I'm off on a mission. Better contact those elves of yours. Tinsley, listen. Why are you talking like that? Sorry, it's my Santa voice. Uh, talk listen. regular. Don't talk like that. Okay, listen. I, I found out what my daughter wants for Christmas. I'm listening. What you find out? I'm listening. A puppy. She wants a puppy. A puppy. She wants a puppy. I want a puppy. You can buy yourself a puppy with the promotion you might get for helping me. Wait. Did you just say I'm gonna get me a puppy? I sure did. But look, it's not gonna be easy finding her a puppy tonight. But we gotta do it. So, okay. so, so check the yards around here. Okay. And if not yet, wait. Check them for newspapers. Check okay. the classifieds. Okay, find us a puppy. Okay. Jesus, I, I, what about you? Well, now that I know what she wants, I can't just magically disappear. I gotta wait for the right opportunity. And then I'll, I'll drive out there with you and get the puppy. And then I'll show back up here tomorrow with it. And that's what she wants for Christmas. And I'll be dead of the year. And you will win the heart of your son with love and presents. She's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. not sure she's going to be happy to see me. But oh. it's a step in the right direction. Right, right, right. OK, so go. Go, go, and, and, and be discreet. Hide along the way, especially in that outfit. What's wrong with my outfit? It's horrible. I like my outfit. But, but be careful and hide with that outfit. MD tree, no gifts. Someone's gotta do something about this. Someone's gotta say Christmas. It's time to take a stand, Missy. Great, no, I'm calling myself that. Never know.
cars, just $16,990. Or Kasashi SCs, just $19,990. And a free lifetime warranty. Come check it out at Royal Suzuki. Shopperschoice.com showroom. Your one stop for outdoor living. This week only, get a free double sided burner with purchase of 36 inch DCS gas grill. The Outdoor Kitchen Experts. Shopperschoice.com. <laughs> Businesses make profits their priority. In my business, clients come first. They're the reason we're here. I'm attorney Spencer Callahan. If you've been injured, I'd like to help. No my world are you doing? I told you to your mom is coming. I had to hide. Hi! She is in the closet! Baton Rouge's top spot for more than 75 years, carrying the best. With brands like Kawasaki, Honda, Yamaha, ATV, street bikes, off-road, power equipment, and more. If it's fun and excitement you want, we've got it. Shop online or stop by the capital. <laughs> Doing. The door is stuck. Stop. 
stay quiet. I'll be back for you later. Wait, no, please? Don't leave me in here. Hello? We're still there. Or am I talking to myself? I've only got one sandwich left. A few less milk and cookies and you might have just made it. Abby, I need to feed the reindeer. I have to go. Abby. Abby. I know you have me. Abby. I need to feed me. Something tells me you won't escape so easily this time. Okay, I'll be back. My nose, it just... Please tell me you found something. I found one. Just one? Uh, yeah, a little pricey and a little angry to be upset. I want money. You know, I'm woken up so late. How much? Seven hundred fifty dollars. Seven hundred fifty what? Yeah. Did you find a diamond puppy? Look, man. The man and his family is leaving at five a.m. in the morning to get some flight. All right? You either gotta get there before the end. If not, there's no deal. You know what I'm saying? The dude's there a bit far. Well, I'm going nowhere fast. Um. You're gonna have to go. Yeah, yeah. Grab my wallet. I should have close to that much in there. And if not, then tell the guy I'm good for it. Well, you are some, some, some sort of saint. Very funny. Get the wallet, please. Okay. Get the wallet. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Get it. It's right there. I can't go no closer because you got my dad. All right. Get the wallet. Almost. Hurry up before she comes. I don't you ever stole anything. I got them. Thank you. I see. Are you saying something? Um, yeah. I was talking with my elves. Well, what'd they say? They are working hard to make your Christmas dream come true. It's just gonna take a little time. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. On the finest day, I want to have Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. On the finest day, I want to have a sleigh. Hey! Did you get the puppy? No. What happened? You only had five hundred dollars, and he wouldn't take a penny less. No grumpy old man. You should put him on your naughty list. Great, just great. So all of this was for nothing. Well, not quite. All right, I told him about our little situation, mm -hmm. but not all of it. Mm -hmm. And he made me a deal. <laughs> 
A deal, good. What is it? Well, he wants the real Santa <laughs> to come over his house before he leaves, come see his boy. And he'll consider it a done deal. Okay. 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 Well, get on up and fly on over there before he leaves, man. Oh, uh, Tesla, something tells me that you forget that I'm not the real Santa. Okay? That Suzuki out front is not a sleigh. You right. cannot move and maneuver like eight flying reindeer. Uh, nine, you, you probably forgot one. <laughs> gonna do? Man, you gonna escape and get your big jolly belly up over there before he leave. That's the best he can do, boss. That's the best I can do. Okay. Whatever. Just, just go before she wakes up. And thank you for trying. I guess. Are you talking to someone again? Yes, elves. Seems they're having a tougher time than I thought. Time's running out, you know. Yeah, about that. Abigail, if I'm not out of here by, say, 4.30 a.m., there's going to be a lot of sad children all around the world with nothing under their Christmas tree. No, sorry. I've had my share of disappointing Christmases. Not this time. You're Santa Claus. It's up to you to get this done. Give me what I asked for, and I promise to let you finish delivering toys. You're right. I am, Santa. I'll think of something. No money, no puppy, no puppy, no happy Abigail on Christmas, oh, no happy Abigail on Christmas, no promotion for Tinsley, then I'm going to be called a secretary for the rest of my life, oh, oh. Uh, this elf got an idea. Where are my keys? Oh, I am not about to be a secretary for the rest of my life. I am an administrative assistant. <laughs> Um, Abigail, would you be so kind as to fetch me those milk and cookies? I haven't had a thing to eat or drink all night. Fine. Sure. Thank you. Starving. What in the world are you doing? Is that what I think it is? Wow, who are you? Oh, hey, I am Tinsley the Elf. You're kind of tall, for an elf, I mean. Oh, well, elves comes in all sizes and shapes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Prove it. Do something only an elf could do. Oh, oh, well, I can dance. No, 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 stop. Anyone can dance. Apparently not. Do something magical. Uh, like more magic filled than me being here? Oh, ooh, I got it, I got it, I got it. He can make music. He can make Christmas music fall out of the thin air. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure I can. <laughs> See, see? 
<laughs> wow, and you don't have a radio or cell phone on you? Sure I don't. Hello. But I do have something, something special that somebody's been asking for. <laughs> I know. Santa, you did it! With some help from my best elf here. But remember, you can't open it until the morning. Oh, man, but I... <clears throat> okay, I guess I can wait. <laughs> that is not what I wanted, Santa. I know. I just thought it was tall time. Then it's time for Plan B. Great. Now there's no way we can get this puppy for her. Now I wonder what she gonna do to us. No telling. I'm scared. Damn. What are we doing? Shooting a music video? Yeah, a music video. You cracked the case. Come here, damn you, aren't you? No. Not bad, just sad that things didn't go the way I wanted them to. I mean, not only did I disappoint my little girl, so did Santa. Man, times like this, I wish magic would happen. What do you mean? I wish Santa would, <laughs> you know, appear and step in and save the day. Okay, here's how this will work. I'll hold up those sheets and you'll read it into the camera. Got it? Got it. Um, Abigail, who is this for? Don't you know? It's for Mrs. Claus. It's a ransom video. And how are you going to get the video to Mrs. Claus? I'll send it out on YouTube. It'll find its way, I'd imagine. If Mrs. Claus wants to save Christmas, maybe she'll be able to give me what I want. Ooh, forgot something. Be right back. This is no good. What's the big deal? Because that video is going to be on YouTube. It'll spread like wildfire. Every child who sees it is going to cry on Christmas. I saw someone do this on the movie, and my mom didn't know I was watching. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Sure. Uh, how does my hair look? It okay. looks great. Oh, thanks. It's just, okay, thank you. <laughs> See, I've never been on YouTube before, and the other day, I seen this little cute little cat on the, on the, on the site, on the, on, the, on the thing, and it was walking on the piano playing, playing the song to the music. i never seen it. It was like, could you imagine? That was amazing. It was. It really was. Your cat, man. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's time to do this. Ready? Yeah. I guess so. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, naughty and nice. My trusty elf and I come to you tonight, not with Yuletide greetings, but with a message. A message for my wife of several hundred years, Mrs. Claus. Santa Claus has been captured and taken prisoner by someone who has asked for a special gift for five long years now but has not yet received it. This young lady has done everything required to stay on the nice list, but for some reason, I, Chris Kringle, have chosen not to honor her request. 
Therefore, until that request is met, I will not. I will not be freed. And therefore, I will not be able to deliver presents this year. It is up to you, Mrs. Claus, to send your fastest fleet of reindeer and your most trusted elf. Hey, man, it's your to deliver this gift within the next half hour. And furthermore, everything you're seeing is the work of one special little girl. A little girl who's been forced to grow up too fast, but still held on to her belief in the magic of Christmas. She's got a mom who works all the time and got one friend who's a true friend it's also pretty clumsy. Doesn't she deserve this one gift that she's asked for for so long? Aren't there kids out there with much more? Of course. And there are far too many kids out there with much, much less. See, that mom of hers doesn't work so much by choice. She does so because she supports this family alone. And that friend of hers, that clumsy little friend also happens to be the most loyal and caring little friend you can imagine. This little girl is growing up to be smart and capable just like her mother. And that great gift right there is an incredible gift. She should feel blessed. Think she's seen us. How could she not see us? She got on yellow pants. Man, don't get to talking about my outfit, man. You don't know what I've been through to keep it. Put this stuff on. Tights and stuff. Earth, wind, and fire boots. All right. Keep playing. Let's Black get Santa. Out. It's okay, Mosey. He feels magical. Mrs. Wilfred, this is Santa Claus. Why don't you go home, Lucy? We'll talk about this later. And, um, you let me explain this to Abby, okay? For as she knows, I'm still asleep. You got out? How? What's wrong? What is it? Your m mom. My mom? What about my mom? Your mom's closet door finally opened. Well, at least something went right finally. Mm -hmm. 
Not that it's going to do you any good. But let's hear your attempt at an explanation. Um, um, well, I got a friend that works at the mall, and I slid him 50 bucks. Who's your little friend here, Sebastian? This is Tendley, a secretary at the overseas office. Nice to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> you got a nice house, I must say. It's very nice. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> what part of we don't need you as a part of our lives don't you understand? We are here doing just fine on our own, and then boom, five years later, you want to come up in here dressed up like a fool and break into my house? And for what? What piece of that plan ever sounded like a good idea to you? The piece that said our little girl is growing up too fast. The piece that said that every child deserves at least one truly magical Christmas to where they can believe in something amazing before the world knocks them down a peg or two. I thought if she saw Santa in person, it might help her stay young just a little longer. What do you know of any of this? You haven't seen her or talked to her since you chose your job over us. You know that is not true. Okay, I, di I didn't know what to do. It was either take the job overseas or lose everything. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how, I was angry. I, I didn't know how to communicate. I just, I want to come back and help, Marilyn. Oh, there you go, the nerve. We are doing just fine on our own, Sebastian. I am doing a perfectly good job of raising my daughter on my own, thank you very much. I don't need Santa and his goofy little elf hey, to come up here. Hey, I, I... Santa and his elf to step in and save the day. Then why'd she do all this, Marilyn? Hmm? Why'd she do, why'd she go through all of this? For a puppy, she's lonely and she wants a companion. When I realized how important it was for her to get that puppy, I knew just seeing Santa wasn't enough. I knew she had to believe that he was still listening. I knew she had to get that puppy. Puppy? Yeah. Where did all this puppy stuff come from, huh? Because <laughs> she never once mentioned it to me. Come on. Oh, no, seriously, I have seen her list. I mean, we're talking hula hoops and toy kitchens. She never once mentioned Puppy. No, that's not the case. She wrote me a letter. And she wrote Santa a letter. Okay, she wrote Santa a letter. And she asked for a puppy and security and companionship. All right. She wants a puppy. Mm-hmm. So where is it? I don't have it. See? I tried. See? I'm tied up. See? That's what I'm talking about. You want to come in here when it's too late, Sebastian? You want to meddle in things. And all that does is lead to heartache for her. For us. Look, did you ever consider how this is going to play out when that little girl does not get a puppy on Christmas morning? How all this is going to actually cause her to believe less as opposed to more? Huh? No, I, I... No. No, you didn't. Because let me guess, you've been too busy closing your big deals, having your big meetings, and then you want to come up in here last minute and mess up everything. Well, why don't you do us a favor? Why don't you go back to doing what you do best? You go close your big deals. You go make that money. And spare everyone who loves you the disappointment that is bound to come when you're involved. You know, there is a reason why I never wanted a dime from you. But you know I tried. Oh, I know. I don't know. And maybe when she gets older, <clears throat> she can choose to have a relationship with you. But today, this Christmas, all you have managed to bring us is disappointment. 
You have risked taking the last bit of magic and hope out of that baby's favorite holiday. <laughs> you know what? Get out. Get out. Go out the back door so she doesn't see you. And if she asks, I'll just tell her that you must use some of your magic to disappear. It's not Christmas morning yet. There's still time to give her what she wants. Yeah, well, that would take a bona fide Christmas miracle, wouldn't it? And those have been in short supply around here lately. Go back to your life overseas. Sorry this Christmas wasn't great. I know you love Christmas and all. Dad, it helps. But I think it was kind of cool what you did tonight. I know I would have not been brave enough to do it. Coming from his rescue mission. A rescue mission that got me locked in a closet. I'm lucky to have a friend like you, Lucy. Hopefully your Christmas will be... Wait, what time is it? Um, 4.35. Oh no, I need to free him. He said if he's not out by 4.30 a.m., he won't be able to deliver toys. I didn't get wait. Moosey, thanks for everything, but go home before your parents realize you're gone. But, no, go. It's okay, Santa, I'm... Merry Christmas, Santa. Sorry, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, I am tired. Boy. Woo! 4.37 a.m. It is time to hit the hay. But records do sound good right now, because don't you gotta like, don't you? What are you doing? Help, oh, get in the car. We still got time to save Christmas. Come on! Okay, come on, man! Oh, come here! Take my mouth hat on, boy! Any luck getting them on the phone? Not yet. Okay, keep trying. There's still time. Still time. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Okay. 159. We're good. We're good. Wait, 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 Santa. Wait, wait, wait. Here. Come on, here we go. What am I doing with this? Give me my hat. You ain't read the manual, listen. Right, now go, 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 go. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Come on, come on. <laughs> you gotta be there. It's 459, we on time. We don't been through so much. Come on. He there. He not there. He not there. Oh, he there. He there. We right on time. We're not late. We, 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 everything is perfect. Come on, baby. Ho, ho! Ho, ho! Uh, I'm here for the puppy. It's, it's, uh, still have a minute. Hello? Be here. Come on, please, please, please. Meryl is right, you know. All I've ever succeeded in was letting them down. Oh, look, you tried darn hard, all right? I mean, no one can deny that. Nobody. And I probably made a mess of things more than anything. What kind of dad can't get his daughter a puppy? Things went 
great in every way tonight, didn't it? Look, Christmas just started. All right, there's still time for a miracle, right? We just got a flat tire. You got AAA? Come on, boss, it's a lot warmer in here. No, oh, man, I just, you know what? I want to walk by myself, get some air, just and just think, if you don't mind. Look, I, I can call a tow truck. No, that's cool, man. Look, can I, can I buy you breakfast or something? It's cool. Thanks for the help. at a loss right now. If there's anybody up there, if there was ever a time for a Christmas miracle, it'd be right now. Perfect time. Nothing? I mean, I'm not asking for a puppy to fall out the sky, but something, some kind of help, please. Dear Santa, I've asked every year and have tried hard to be on your nice list. Please, this year, can you give me the one thing I've always wanted? PJ's trying to get me out of bed by now. Baby, what's wrong? Have I been good this year? Ooh, well, um, you've had a few rough moments here and there, but yeah. Yeah, I'd say you've been pretty good this year. Why? I don't think Santa really bought me what I asked for. And how would you know that, huh? Have you been peeking under the tree? Just a feeling. You know what? The funny thing about life is that we don't always get what we ask for. But sometimes what we do get is exactly what we need. What does that mean? It means for us to appreciate the things that we do have. Now come on. I got some cinnamon rolls in the oven. Huh? You know you like those. In. Go in, and we're gonna see what happened. And ta-da! Ah! <laughs> look, mom! Look, mom! Oh, honey, you must have been on his good list, huh? <gasps> what do you think is in here? Can we shake it? Oh, Abby. Oh, God. Okay, let me pick some of this stuff up. 
And then while you be playing with your cool new stuff, I'm gonna go get my work done, okay? Wait, Mom. Almost. Abby, what is it? Abby? Now what did you go and do, baby? Oh, Abby. Oh, Abby, this is beautiful. Oh. Lots of happy memories. Thought it's only right if they were all together. Baby, <laughs> look at your first bike. Well, actually, there's something I gotta tell you. <laughs> Santa was listening. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Abigail, how's my little girl doing? I don't know. I was walking down the street and it just appeared in my coat pocket. It did. It was Santa. Santa did it. I knew he'd come through. We were talking last night and... You were talking to Santa? Yeah, long story. But he was here last night. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Santa was here, was he? Hmm. Uh, watch, I'll show you. I have proof. Oh, no, we believe you. We don't need proof. Abby, we believe you. Okay, you know a puppy would have been a whole lot less complicated. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. It is a little funny, though, isn't it? <laughs> no. Just, I spent all last night thinking about how to buy her what she wanted, when what she really wanted was to spend some time with her father. Look, look, look. I know I missed way more than just last night because of that mistake I made. Can today just be about Abby? Not complicate things, please? Just know that I'm a changed man, and I'm looking to hopefully make things right one day. But your work, Sebastian, it's always been your priority. It's always been about work with you. Yep, and the answer to that is right on time. Oh. Wow, so what, you're gonna start selling new cars? Or Hello again, miss. Oh, hi. Long time no see. <laughs> I just, I wanted you to know that I will not be working anywhere near as much as I used to. Oh, and why is that? Well, now I have a partner to help me share the load. You do? Who? You, buddy. You mean? Yes. I know a miracle can still happen on Christmas. All right, look, I know we're gonna have to talk about pay, but don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry, no worries. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. Yeah, I'm not gonna say nothing else. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, wow. Um, Tinsley, you're, uh, you're welcome to join us. No, 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 no. Don't even wanna hear about it because you guys got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, yeah, you got a lot catching up. So, uh, goodbye, goodbye. All right, Merry Christmas, man. I'll talk to you soon. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Merry Christmas. Oh, Ooh, I'm a blow. Where did you find him? I don't, he's my secretary. I told you, he's crazy, though. If you act right, you know, you might get a last name oh, this time. Oh, gosh. Did you see what she got me? Let me see. Look. Oh, wow. Everybody said her birthday party? Oh, my God. Yeah. Abby, what's wrong? I had it all on video. Now it's gone.
just a black screen. Oh, that's odd. Are you sure that she looked at all of it, or...? Yeah, well, here's something. Oh, just a view out the window. Okay. All right. Well, baby, if you said you saw Santa, there's no need for proof. <laughs> we believe you, okay? Yes, we do. Uh-huh. So, um, are you hungry? Abby, are, are you hungry or want something? What is it? The view out the window. Oh, yeah. You got a whole lot of sky in there and a um, oh, bird and... Wait, there's more. There's much, much more. And flying through the sky, a sleigh and nine reindeer. And that's how our story ends. The family spent the whole day catching up on memories from the lost years. Everyone got what they wanted for Christmas, it seems. Some didn't realize it until they got it. While some had it and didn't even know it. At the end of the day, Abigail believed. And that, it turns out, Prove to be the most powerful gift of all. So you see, Christmas miracles do happen. You just have to believe in them. After seeing her father again, Abigail couldn't be happier. As for the camera footage, well, what can I say? Rudolph likes the attention sometimes. Let's just hope Abby keeps it off of YouTube. Abby, Abby! Wait, what's this? Oh, Lucy. It's okay. My sandwich broke my fall. So... Did it work? Did you get what you wanted? Yeah, my dad came home and I really didn't miss him. Plus, I think my mom realizes that she misses him too. And then there's this. Wow, Abigail, you really did get what you wanted. I didn't. I was being good all year. All I asked for was a new super smartphone with the camera app and Wi-Fi, but you and your plan had to come along and make me an accomplice. Check this out. I don't know about this. Look, you got what you wanted. Now look at this. Oh, I didn't think of that. Now look at that. Whoa, that is pretty cool. That big red gift giver won't know what hit him. So, you win? Let's get him. Oh dear, I'm going to need some backup. The night before Christmas, and the weather was kind of airy. Not a creature was stirring. Not even much in the parry. Not all. Uh, the deer was watching the stove, so the egg know it won't burn. And was loading up the navigator with toys for all of his turn. Now I'm getting ready for the ride out, and I got little dokey with me. So leave the back window open, because I hate coming down the chimney. Now I don't want to wake nobody up. I'm going to be quiet as a spurn. And don't be looking for no red suit, because this year the suit's going to be earned. So what you had wanted for Christmas? What you had wanted for Christmas? A Nintendo! What you had wanted for Christmas? Now, what you had wanted for Christmas? Even if he had did you wrong, and I, I know some people with it, and I 
know some people don't, but long as you do it like I had said, you can get anything you want. So I, what you had wanted for Christmas? What you had wanted for Christmas? What you had wanted for Christmas? Now what you had wanted for Christmas? Is that? No dancing and 